Hi everyone. So a few weeks ago, I posted about the new open AI model that's called Sora. It is a text to video model. And there have been a few updates recently that I thought I would take you through. A quick recap. So Sora is a text to video model, which works in a very simple way of essentially putting in a prompt and then it will output the video off the back of it and it'll be entirely AI generated. Sora is not yet available to the public, so you're unable to download it and give it a go. However, what OpenAI has done is started to release it to some directors and creators in order to give it a try and see what results they can produce. OpenAI has put up this post on their blog saying Sora first impressions where they gained valuable feedback from the creative community to help improve the model. Here's a quick quote from Paul Trillo, who is a director. It says that Sora is at its most powerful when you're not replicating the old, but bringing to life new and impossible ideas we would have otherwise never had the opportunity to see. This is from shy kids and they have their video called airhead where they used sora to create a short film about a balloon man um, shy kids is based in toronto and they are a multimedia production company they say we now have the ability to expand on stories we once thought impossible and essentially this particular story is completely generated from text to video and it follows the balloon man who navigates all sorts of situations from losing his head in the wind where he has to chase it all the way through to where he has to navigate a really prickly shop. They also say that people from all over the world with stories ready to burst out of their chests finally have the opportunity to show the world what's inside them. Now, this particular video also has a soundtrack and a narration track, but I couldn't put it up because of copyright issues, but you can definitely check it out on OpenAI's website if you're curious to see what the whole thing looks like. So let's have a quick look at another one. There are quite a few on the website if you wanna check them out. Definitely worthwhile seeing what it is capable of, but I was really impressed by this one as well. So I thought I would show that to you. So this is by Don Allen Stevenson, and it is called Beyond Our Reality. Don Allen Stevenson is a digital AR and XR artist, and he basically used Sora to create these strange hybrid combination animals, like the giraffe flamingo or the flying pig. And what Don Allen said was, for a long time, I've been making augmented reality hybrid creatures that I think would be fun combinations in my head. Now I have a much easier way of prototyping the ideas before I fully build out the 3D characters to place them in spatial computers. It's pretty impressive to see what Sora is capable of. And I can't help but think that CGI might be under quite a bit of threat with the release of Sora. Now I know a lot of people do say this, but I'm gonna say it again. This is as bad as this product gets. And from here, Sora will only improve. Just imagine what might happen when you can all of a sudden use consistent characters throughout the frames. We could end up in a situation where it would be able to produce entire feature films. I think I like this one best actually. It's the uh, fox crow and it's kind of cute. This obviously has huge implications for the film and media industry. And in fact, there are some reports saying that Sam Altman has been doing the rounds courting various directors and film studios in Hollywood. This also raises the question though of how Sora was built. In order to get this very impressive capable model, what videos were used in the training data? Well, recently, the Wall Street Journal decided to interview Mira Marati, who is the CTO of OpenAI, and this is what she had to say. What data was used to train Sora? We used publicly available data and licensed data. So, videos on YouTube? I'm actually not sure about that. Okay. Videos from Facebook, Instagram? You know, if they were publicly available, um, available, yeah, publicly available to use, um, there might be the data, but um, I'm, I'm not sure. Yeah. I'm not confident about it. What about Shutterstock? I know you guys have a deal with them. I'm, I'm just not going to go into the details of, of the data that was, that was used, but it was publicly available or licensed data. After the interview, Marathi confirmed that the licensed data does include content from Shutterstock. Mira Marathi certainly looked a little bit uncomfortable in that interview, that's for sure. So it is interesting to, to hear that they are using, probably using publicly available data and scraping the internet for all videos, including ones like this one that can then be used to make their model perform better in the future. 
So this is going to be interesting to watch and see how it develops because the model is no doubt very capable and very impressive, but there will be some ethical and copyright issues that come up as we move forward into the future. To finish up, I thought I would cover what this might mean for creatives. Of course, there are going to be both positives and negatives that come out of the Sora model being released. On the positive side, creatives will be able to unlock their creative expression, their creative freedom, and be able to produce content at a very low cost to help bring their stories to life. What they will need to be equipped with is great storytelling abilities, as well as a knowledge of the tools and an ability to communicate with the tools. But of course, on the negative side, this will have a huge impact for jobs. It will lead to a lot of job loss and studios will likely reduce their headcount of their staff. And they'll be able to use uh, less people to produce content. And also the creatives themselves will need to do significant upskilling in order to get equipped with the new tools should they become the norm. And then there's news like this where Tyler Perry has put an $800 million studio expansion on hold after seeing OpenAI's Sora and indicating that jobs are going to be lost. And finally, I do worry about what this means for the spread of misinformation and disinformation. I'm sure that OpenAI will make sure that they put safeguards on their tool once they release it to the public. However, it will be increasingly difficult to discern what is real and what is not real. So as this uh, technology continues to develop, I'll definitely be keeping on top of it and letting you know what happens next. But it is definitely something to consider in terms of the societal implications and just the huge impact it's going to have on humanity. So until next time, see you later.